Prior to the Civil War, Bristow Station, located in Prince William County, Virginia, was just another stop along the Orange and Alexandria Railroad. But in October 1863, it would become the site of a bloody engagement between the North and South. By 1863, Union and Confederate forces had been fighting for over two years. The largest battle of the war had just taken place at Gettysburg in July, where Union forces under George G. Meade turned back a Confederate invasion by Robert E. Lee. After Gettysburg, both armies returned to Virginia and took up opposing positions across the Rapidan River. Volunteers had begun to dwindle and the federal government had instituted a draft which led to draft riots in New York, Boston, and other cities. Things did not seem to be going very well for the North, nor was it uh, looking very promising in the South either. The Union blockade was tightening. The strategy of dividing and conquering was uh, taking hold. and There was no end in sight. In October, the Confederate Army of Northern Virginia began what would be its last major offensive of the war, the Bristow Campaign. Lee took his forces across the Rapidan River and attempted to outmaneuver General Meade's Army of the Potomac as it withdrew to the protection of Centerville Heights. On October 14th, Lieutenant General A.P. Hill's Confederate Corps tried to cut off what Hill thought was the rear guard of Meade's retreating army. Leading Hill's Corps was the division under Henry Heath, and among those troops was a brigade under William Kirkland, uh, and H.H. H. Walker, and then an independent brigade under John Cook. They were put in the front line to attack the Union troops that were seen on the opposite side of Broad Run. Unbeknownst to Hill, the V Corps was not the last of the Union column. The Union II Corps under Major General Governor K. Warren was moving up behind them along the railroad tracks. General Cook, realizing that there was a Union presence on his flank, immediately shifted his line uh, to the south toward the railroad and continued his advance, little realizing the strength of the Union position there. It wasn't until he got uh, well within rifle musket range, within 200 yards of the railroad, that he realized uh, the uh, adverse situation he now found himself in. Throughout the afternoon, artillery on both sides fired on the enemy's forces. After the Confederate attack on the railroad was repulsed, their retreat left one of Major David McIntosh's batteries undefended. Their position on a hill overlooking Bristow Station had already been heavily shelled by federal artillery. Eventually, uh, many of the horses of the battery were killed or wounded, and this effectively disabled the battery. Seizing an opportunity, federal skirmishers advanced up the hill, captured several guns, and hauled them back to federal lines. The result of the battle was the capture of five guns, two battle flags, and 450 prisoners, and the killing and wounding of 1,200 men. Surveying the carnage of the battlefield, General Robert E. Lee reprimanded A.P. Hill for the result of his hasty and disastrous attack. Well, well, General, bury these poor men. Let us say no more about it. The Army of Northern Virginia's last offensive campaign of the war ended with the Battle of Bristow Station. In 1864, it would be forced to withdraw to Richmond and Petersburg. After the cities fell, Lee would eventually surrender at Appomattox Courthouse in April 1865, thus bringing about the end of the war. <laughs>